One way or another, Alaska EPSCoR grad student Ben Meyer spends a lot of time working with kids. Meyer studies the potential effects of climate change on juvenile salmon. And when he's not focused on young fish, he spends his time entertaining crowds of children. Another sort of alter ego side business that I do is called Ben the Balloon Guy, where I get to go to parties and events and grand openings and make balloon art for people. Meyer studies king and silver salmon, which spend their formative years in the Kenai River watershed, where air temperatures are projected to rise. He studies the salmon's size, age, and diet across three watersheds that range from slow lowland rivers to glacier-fed whitewater. The idea, he explained, is to understand how water temperatures and diet affect juvenile salmon growth rates in different environments, and what future changes in the environment could mean for habitat quality. By measuring those two things, temperature and food, we can understand could their growth rates change in the future if water temperature in particular changes. Over two summers, Meyer and a research technician regularly visited multiple sites in each waterway, where they recorded the water temperature and measured and weighed thousands of juvenile fish, and in some cases collected scale samples to establish their age. They also determined diet in some fish by anesthetizing them, slipping a tube down their throats, and flushing out their stomach contents. Now, he's back in the lab. The priority at the moment is to try and tell a story from the last two seasons of data that I have and um, see what we can learn from it. Meyer believes his research will ultimately show that rising air temperatures will have a variety of impacts on the salmon and will likely indicate that low elevation, low gradient habitats are more sensitive to change. Climate change will mean different things for different kinds of juvenile salmon habitat. It's not necessarily a question, is it all good or is it all bad? There will be winners and losers. While Ben Meyer hones his conclusions, Ben the Balloon Guy has also worked salmon into his routine. In addition to more traditional balloon art, Meyer has begun using balloons to depict the salmon life cycle, from egg, to alevin, to smolt, to adult, to spawner. When I started hanging out more with people who study salmon, I thought, man, I need to <clears throat> make a cool salmon hat for people to wear. And I could not find a good example of one out there, so I figured out how to make one. And I thought, huh, you know, that this is a really cool adult salmon, but really that's just one part of their life. And so I've been trying to figure out how to depict the rest of their life cycle. Meyer has made presentations for EPSCoR multiple times including at the Kenai River Festival in Kenai and Public Discovery Days for the Kachemak Bay National Estuary and Research Reserve in Homer. It's my hope that um, making a big, colorful, cartoony image of something will help burn what that looks like into someone's memory and that if they do see something like this in nature, they'll recognize it. 